Hey guys, my name is Blake Steele. I'm the owner of BDS Outdoor Services. I'm 18 years old. And I just wanna make this quick video to show you my 2023 lawn care setup. So here's a quick pan over of all my equipment. We'll start out my truck and trailer. My uh, work truck is a 2019 F250. I picked this up in July. Uh, I have a toolbox. I don't keep much of the stuff in here, but I mean in the back seat, I just have my headphones, I have a vacuum to keep it somewhat clean in the back. I have a toolbox full of all my other stuff, the mini Milwaukee chainsaw, diesel stabilizer, just measuring wheel, all the odds and ends stuff. And my trailer is a six and a half by 14. Uh, this is perfect size for my type of business, what I found. So I can fit two mowers perfect on it with more room. I'm hoping I can fit my new one on it as well, all three. But uh, it's a Cure Heat trailer. It's made local to me, I'm actually not sure. It's somewhere in Georgia. Uh, I have a toolbox mounted on the front with all my two-stroke oil, edger blades, weed killer, just all my odds and ends stuff. Then I have that battery sprayer. I'm not uh, Smith. I'm not even sure what brand that is. But uh, I run, uh, what's it called, no spill as my main fuel tanks. Those give me the best luck. I had a sure can. It lasted about two weeks, so I haven't had good luck with them. But... We can get started on the mowers next. So, starting out, this is one of my new purchases over the winter. This is a 2021 Skag Turf Tiger 2 with the clamshell bagger. I got a hell of a deal on it, a marketplace. So that's why I picked it up. It's uh, right at 780 hours. It was about 750 when I bought it. So I put 30 hours on it this winter, putting leaf cleanups and stuff. But it's a beast of a mower. Then my next one, this is my main mower. This is the one I've used for years now. This is a 2019, or 2020, correction, Skag V-Ride 2, 48 inch. This mower has got, got me, or has made me so much money. I cannot recommend this thing enough. I've put 370 hours on it. No issues. Besides, it likes going through deck belts. In 370 hours, I've gone through uh, four or five deck belts. So I don't know what's going on with that. Besides that, no issues. It's an amazing machine. And I have the mulch kit on it. So it's great for all my tighter yards. My new Turf Tiger will be for my more wide open ones. And all my tight residential yards will be my V-Ride this year. And then my newest piece of equipment I just picked up is the Skag 30 inch. I can't wait to put to use this season because both my other push mowers are down. So I decided just want to invest in something heavier duty. And so far this mower has been great. I've used it three or four times now. Anyone who says this thing, I mean, I haven't put terrible hours on it, but anyone who says this thing's too heavy just isn't using it right. This machine kind of walks itself. You don't really shouldn't have to push it at all. And then onto my equipment, my handhelds, I mean, my, uh, main hedge trimmer is the steel hs46 it's a great little hedge trimmer it's light easy to start my main weed eater is the echo 2620 i cannot recommend this thing enough everyone has told me to switch to echo when i tried it i'm never going back it's such a great using trimmer easy to start plenty of power lightweight it just it always works so I went out and bought, this is a PAS 2620. This is my main edger for my business. Both of these have been used all season without a single issue. This is my backup weed eater. This is a uh, steel KM 131. This is for all my really thick stuff and it's the combi attachment. And I have a bunch of other attachments. I'll show y'all later. So this is my main multi-tool machine. Then also in pair with this, I have the Echo uh, Vacuum, or whatever it's called. Uh, I don't think it has a model number on it, but it's the Echo Shred and Vac. So I just suck up all the leaves, all the hedges. It's a great little machine just to clean up jobs. I mean, don't count on it for entire leaf cleanups, but just cleaning up small corners and stuff, this is an amazing machine. Then on to my backpack blowers. The one on the right is my newest, it's the Steel BR 800. 
this will be my main blower in the summer and spring because it's just way lighter. I've had the 9010 now. It's a it's the best blower you can buy hands down for leaf cleanups, but it's very cumbersome during the summer. I just like having a lightweight blower I can throw on and off pretty quickly. So once winter's over, this can be parked in my shop. And the middle blower, this is the oldest piece of equipment I have, the Steel BR600. This is an amazing machine. It's lightweight. I don't know how many hours are on it. It's got to be close to 500 or 1,000. And it still works as good as the day I bought it. So I'd buy five more of these. Perfect for grass blowing. I mean, leaves, it struggles a little bit. That's what these two are for. But just a good all-arounder, or if you're starting out on a budget, I don't think they make a better blower. So I like Echo handhelds better. In terms of backpack blowers, I give Steel the slight edge to it. And... Oh yeah, also I want to go over the engines. This has a 31 horsepower Vanguard on it. Tons of power. My one complaint, or my main complaint about this one is it has a 22 horse Kawasaki on it. Great engine, but it needs more power. This is very underpowered machine. It bogs down all the time, even on hills. And a lot of times it can't carry itself up a hill without almost stalling out. So it's very underpowered. This has the new Kohler on it. I can't remember what the exact power is. I think it's eight horsepower or something. I can't remember exactly, but it has, seems like it has plenty of power for where I put it through so far. Next, I wanna talk about the racks on the trailer. Uh, I have a green touch blower rack, which is amazing. Uh, equipment defender blower rack, which I'm not that happy with. I think I'm gonna sell it and buy another green touch one. And then I have equipment defender trimmer racks, which I absolutely love. These things are amazing. They always work. They never give me issues. Just that one's, the equipment defender blower rack's just clunky. I don't know. The green touch one is so much better in my opinion. And then I have a, uh, just a Ballard spool line holder. And that's the Piranha trimmer line. I got it equipped this season, so I'm ready to put it to use. I usually use black diamond, but this was on sale. I think I got this whole spool for 20 bucks or something. So I picked it up. Hopefully it'll work well, but yeah. Inside my workshop, I have a steel 271. This is a great all around saw. It's not too powerful, but it's not weak in any means either. Uh, here's one of my combi attachments. Yeah, I have the articulated hedge trimmer. This has been great. I actually traded it with someone. I had a straight shaft. We just made an even trade and got this. I have the uh, the brush cutting attachment for the combi system. That's a beast of an attachment. And, oh crap. I also have the bed redefiner attachment, which I love. These things work amazing. I also have this, I just picked this up, the Echo, uh, what is it, CS355T. It's a little top handle saw. It just stays in the toolbox in my truck most of the time. It's a great little saw just to keep around. I also, I've had this for a couple seasons now. Ryan Lawn Air. This is my main aerator. It's my main money maker in the spring. If you haven't gone to aerations yet, I highly recommend it. The amount of money you can make with this is ridiculous. I installed the hour meter second hand right when I got it, so. I, it's right at 14 hours on it in two seasons. So it's not used a lot, but it's paid for itself threefold by now in 14 hours. Then last but not least, here are my two push mowers. This one I love. Sadly, I've messed up the crankshaft on it. So now it doesn't run right. It shakes you to death and the engine shaking itself apart. So I hit a stump with it. But it's a, it's a HRX 217. This is a great push mower for anyone wanting to get a more premium push mower. And then that push mower right here, the arms messed up on it. This is the mower right here that started my entire business. Everything y'all have seen in this video has came from this mower, which just, just showing you what you can do if you put your mind to it. So yeah, that's my uh, 2023 lawn care setup. Hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions.